soak on the water today. Um, in particular, we're going to be looking at the riff as well as the chords for the whole tune. So um, we're going to hop right away into playing the riff on this song. As always, there is more than one way to play a song, and this is just one way to do it. Right? So we're going to start out on the fifth fret of the A and D strings, and you're going to be playing these two notes. This whole riff is based on a two-note two uh, grouping played on different frets. And what I like to do is actually bar those two notes together. So you're only going to be playing those two strings on the fifth fret. Now, some people with the right hand on the song actually use their fingers to pick those notes. And what that does is it actually makes it to where both strings are sounding at the same time, as opposed to having a little bit of delay with the pick. up to you what you'd like to do. I'm going to be using a pick for today. So anyway, we're back here on fifth fret. We got our first notes that we're playing. You're going to do a two note grouping on the D and G strings on the third fret next. I'm going to bar that with my first finger. So let's play those two together. Then we go to the fifth fret on those strings. There's our first three notes of the riff. Let's play that. Let's play that. to the first one we played, second one that we played. Instead of going to fifth fret though, we're going to go to sixth fret, then fifth fret. So let's play that, just that part right there. Yeah, and it sounds like on the record they're actually picking each of those separately as opposed to sliding into it. Um, so that's why I'm doing that right there. So let's play just that that much that we've got so far. Six. Then the rest of the riff, we go back to the first. Then third fret, fifth fret on the D and G strings. Then we're gonna go back to third. And then back to the, where we started right there. So that's... from your third fret to that fifth fret on the A and D string, you can give that a little pull down. And it, it'll sound really nice. I don't know, I like it. It adds a little bit of a, a little bit of attitude to that riff and I don't know, it's fun. So um, let's play that whole entire riff together and I'll shout out some fret numbers on occasion. Here we go. Doing this slow first. Go to sixth fret. Yep. Back to three. And then fifth fret, A and D string. Let's do that again. Sixth fret. together. Again, and... Yeah, there you go. Uh, very cool riff, very fun to play. Um, this tune in general, just fun to play. Now next up, we've got the chords that are happening during the verse. Now. To really play this song with the chords, you're gonna need to know your power chords already. So just in case you were unfamiliar with our, with our power chord shape, here it is. And you can have your root on the low E string or the A string right there. And these power chords are also known as five chords. And you know, so sometimes when you're seeing music, you might see something that says G5. They want you to play a G power chord there. That's what that means. Um, the hollowed out note here is the root. All right, so make sure you know your power chords for this song. And we're actually going to start out with a G5 chord, or a G power chord. So um, we're going to find the note G on the low E string. It's on their third fret. We're going to play that power chord shape. And as far as strum pattern goes, I would encourage you to listen along and play along with the tune to find a strum pattern that you like. Um, you'll hear me do a couple of different things throughout, and you're welcome to take those ideas as well. So. We got a G chord and an F chord. 
mainly for these verse chords. So G is on the third fret, F is on the first fret. So let's go ahead and play that. So start out on G. Go to F, back to G. C chord. Now from right here, your C power chord is very convenient because you're just going to move your fingers down a string set right there. The root C on the A string is right here. Then we go to G sharp, which is on fret four of low E string for our root. So we're going from C, so go to C, which has its root on the A string on the third fret. Then we're going to fret four with that chord shape on the low E to G sharp, and then to G, All right? So I'll play that in time. So we came from go to C, G sharp, to do is go ahead and play this along with the record because you're going to find out exactly how many times they play the C to G sharp to G three four one two three to C to G sharp back to the riff. I think I think typically throughout the whole tune they tend to do it twice, but they might repeat the chorus at the end. It might go a couple of times. So listen to the record to find that out, right? And you'll be able to hear how many times. So, so far we've got our verse chords, we're G and F. F, back to G. Then our chorus chords went to C, G sharp on the fourth fret, G. C, G sharp, riff. All right, now the only other part of this tune that we really need to know chords for is the solo section. And I want to just kind of go ahead and show you guys what I wrote out here for our solo section chords. We've got G5 happening a lot. Just their power chords for the whole tune. G is going to happen here as well. Then we switch to C for our third measure, back to G. That's going to repeat four times. Okay, that's going to repeat four times. Then they go to C for two and F for two. And we're thinking kind of four beats per measure. So if you're tapping your foot along, you're just kind of counting one, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, repeat, and so forth. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this right now, along with you all. And I'll just kind of shout out chords. But basically your power chords, just like we've been using for our whole tune, we've got G, we've got C, and we do have F on the first fret. So let's play our solo section chords right now. Here we are. They do a riff before the solo happens too. So it goes from... I think they do that twice. starting on the third fret, this is our G chord, right? Go to C, back to G, G, C, G, G, C, G. Riff. 
one more time. So we're starting from the solo section. Um, we won't worry about playing the riff going into it. We're just going to start right on it with the chords. So this is the solo in the tune. These are the chords happening in the background. Starting on G, here we go. Go to C, G. C, G. C, G, G, C, G, C, F, Riff, smoke on the water the riff we covered the verse we covered the chorus and we covered the solo section chords today um so if you have any questions let me know we'll be looking at soloing on a different lesson over this tune and some scales you can use to improvise uh, other than that enjoy the rest of your day and i will see you back here again bye